Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Empire. Last episode we got the first gym badge which was it was pretty difficult but we managed to do it after a couple of tries just had to change the team up. The good thing is games like this I've learned my lesson from when I previously played games like this where I just kind of want to stick to like a single team like I usually do like pick my pick and choose my favorites. But games like this you gotta make sure you have a nice diverse well balanced strong team so you know changing up the team every now and then is uh is what you want to do. So before we do what we ever we have to do next, I need to go and do a few things because people in the comments let me know if we go back. I think this is what I have to do first. Right, so if we go over here, even if it's the wrong thing, I still want to buy it anyway. I think this is what we need to buy. So we go over here and we buy um, the... I think it was 10,000 this. So this training equipment doubles the holder's EV gains after battle and this is so good. We, we want this 100%. Right, so we got that. I'm not sure if this is the item we need, but even if it's not, it's still really good. So, what we're gonna do next is we are going to go to the water plant, which is not this. I think it's this. Right, so there's two Pokemon we're supposed to get in here. If we speak to someone we previously battled, I think yes, it's gotta be this person because the uh, Goth Eater's there. We can pick this up and apparently it's pretty good. So we definitely want this for the team. 100%. Uh, do I just talk to this? Uh, you can try talking to that weird intern if you want, but I doubt you'll make much headway. All it does is stare at things all day. Engage in a staring contest? Yes. I'm not gonna blink. I'm not gonna blink. I'm not gonna blink. Ah, oh, I blinked. Ah, oh, I tried. Uh, how long do we have to do this for? <laughs> I I have to blink a lot. I can't can't not blink. Suck at staring contests. Uh, oh, the coffee to blink. Hey, the coffee to joins you. Sweet, nice. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're quickly. Switch the team up a little bit as well. Actually, not yet, because we want to. We can now get level 25. So I'll get people. I'll get the whole team at 25 first, and then we'll switch the team up a little bit. Although there's one Pokemon we should probably train up ASAP, which we'll be getting very soon. Don't know what it is. Don't know what it looks like, but apparently, um, we need it. Right? Who is it? Might have to go find the comment again, but I think. It's Someone said if we got this, the item we bought just a second ago, and we talk to someone, we can get a um, a free Meltan. And I want a free Meltan, 100%. Just can't remember where it was, so... Maybe you look kind of suspicious. Nope. Uh, yo. For a fee. Hmm. Hi. Purchase some of Polaris Ice's signature bottle of water. Rated best in the world. Nine years running. Hmm. Pretty impressive for nine years. Maybe it's not the right place. Let me um go find the comment. And then I can uh, try and get a free Meltan. Oh, it's in the mine. So one of the NPCs in the mine behind the counter in the top right will give you a free Meltan of your own if you show him the 10,000 uh, Aura Chassis item, which we just bought. So cool, we get a uh, free mount on the mine, which we need to head to anyway because the second floor is unlocked and the second, well, the third Pokemon we need to capture is in here. So it's you. So uh, yeah, give you a free Meltan. Nice. Hey. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so that's good. Now we need to head to the second floor. And I think that's everything everyone told me to do. But where is the second floor? And do I have repels because... Uh... Actually, I'm gonna save the game real quick and make sure I've got balls, because if I've got no balls then... Um... We've got, we got a few, we should be fine. Although I'm not sure if we're gonna get it for free or not. Uh... Actually kind of curious to see what this is gonna look like. We've got no repels. So is this the second floor? We've cleared out most of the second floor, nothing much left we need now, as we've harvested all the carving we could find. So you can look around if you want, clearing out or catching any wild Pokemon you see just makes our jobs easier in the long runs anyways. 
Want to go down to the second floor? Yes, I do. All right, when you're ready, come back up. Just use the elevator exit like the one you see behind me. All right, cool. Yes, and probably want to go to that hole over there. Maybe the Fakemon will come out. I'm actually really excited about this because the Fakemon in this game so far have been mwah, chef's kiss, man. They're so good. They're so good. Especially our um, Chimera. It's, it's just ah. Oh, dude, come on, Diglett, let me run away. D Diglett. There we go. I'm gonna um, who's fast? Pidgeotto should let me run away, maybe. Just wish I had repels. Oh, so carving. We should cap capture a carving just in case. I feel like carving could come in handy. Right, let's save the game. Try and capture this bad boy. Only level 11. Uh, let's go swift. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. Alright, let's go Pokeball, please. Don't make me waste a lot of balls. It's gonna be one of them Pokemon that just makes me waste a lot of balls, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, man. Carbink. You're being kind of annoying. I can always like reset, so it's not an issue. It's go it's gonna take a while, isn't it? <laughs> I don't like this. Please. Okay, Carbink. If I don't capture this one ball next, I'm gonna just have to reset. Save as many balls as possible. There you go. <laughs> of course, I still kinda of wanna reset now just to get some more balls back, but. Ah, uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh. Uh, although, I, did I accidentally, accidentally name it X1? I think I might have done. Oops. It's fine. Alright, save it. And. Snova, get away. Save again, just in front, be easier to reset. Oh, looks way too dangerous to try jumping down, okay. Uh, so maybe the, the faking one's just like a wild encounter? It's gotta be this, right? I kinda like this, and, and Mindy Go, it looks kinda cute. So apparently this is gonna help with a battle coming up, because apparently someone just likes to keep healing, and this is gonna be um, very useful. Armor. And now we throw Dust Ball. That's gonna be good. Nice. Pure Ice Time. The body is just a vessel for the mask. Oh, okay. Set the mask uh, houses free evil spirits constantly fighting to control of the vessel. That's kind of sick. Okay, this is even cooler than I thought. I like this. Alright, so I need to put this on the team. Um, yes, I need to replace... Let's re replace Snowrun for now. Although I think Snowrun had XP share on, did you not? Or do you have XP share? Ah, uh, I think... Sn Actually, that's fine. We've got PC here. There's the level 8 Meltan. Yeah, you got XP share. Let's take that item off. So I got a lot of Pokemon in the box that I need to grind up. But I think when we get to the next town we can probably buy some vodka to just level everyone up to what we need to. But the problem is, that costs money. And we currently have 1,422. Wait. Oh, ah, so many encounters. I just noticed the, the badges. Is this going to be a 16 badge game? I feel like it might be. Maybe an 18 type. It seems like a lot of spaces. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we? <laughs> 10, uh, 12, 14, 16, 18. So, yeah, I think it's a uh, uh, gym for every type. Alright then. So, that is now everything done that I had on my list to do. We've got three new Pokemon. I shot four because we caught Carbink. We've got four Pokemon that can hopefully uh, help out in the future. So, I'm going to assume I need to go either down here and we go through here take this oh yes officer because everything is as it should be 
Ah, greetings. I am. You're looking really cool, not gonna lie. Wait. I'm waiting. You. Are different from the others here, are you not? I feel a certain... something about you. Do you sense that? Like a... sense of kindred spirits sort of thing. Also, this is the Bravely Default music, right? I'm 99% sure this is Bravely Default music. Anyway, forgive me, uh, that must have sounded rather odd. I'm just going to put, put out those words. If you haven't played Bravely Default on 3DS or Bravely Second, play that. If you've got a Switch, get Bravely Default 2. Okay? Just saying. Best games. Just, just play it. Anyway, <laughs> let us uh, start again. Greetings, might you oblige me your name? It's Jasmine. Jasmine, is it? Even your name carries with it a certain distinction. And I see you're a trainer. Yes, of course. I, I too have set out to master this pursuit. And I sense strongly that you would be an in, in, inescapably difficult challenge for me. Oh, you want to battle, don't you? So, Jasmine, now that our paths are crossed this fateful day, shall we begin speaking into life the first pages of this great story of our generation? He does look really cool. I swear, like, any character with silver hair and a cape just looks so cool. Just have, just gotta have one of them. Anyway, a little 20 growler. Uh, let's go for lock on. And then we can go for double air cut. Super cross effective for critical hits. Right. Could have gone better, but it's still decent. Bone edge. Um. I do love the music. I was hesitant to go into Chimera because he's like our best Pokemon. I don't want to um, waste it on the Switch in, you know? But we should be fine. Ooh. Sword Stance, Ghost Gem. Managed to keep that up. We oh, got Perish Song? Yes, please! You got some new moves, okay. Um, the user heals all their HP, then cloaks their team with fog. Eight turn stats cannot be lowered. That's kind of good. Uh, the users that makes all the players more wary, trying to lower their speed. That's kind of good. Let's go a pound, because we don't need pound, right? Oh, whoa! Okay! That looks sick! Autorgus? It looks like a mini Gallade. That's kind of sick, dude. That's shiny as well. Um, I, I guess I could probably stay in. Got the burn. Okay, that actually seems uh, real good. Shell. Servine. I doubt we can outspeed it, but you got hit with the poison point. Which I'll take. Take any day. Alright, let's go to Slugma. And go for that incinerate. And you missed a wrap. Woohoo! Let's go. I have a little window to pop down and make sure it's all still recording all good. Yeah, we good, we good. It's always scary when the little window pops up. <laughs> I can't see if it's recording or not. There's times where it's just turned itself off for whatever reason. Sometimes computers do stupid things for no apparent reason. Nice and one more incinerate. Pretty good bass. Yeah, it's an armor. Oh, I don't think it really matters because we won the battle. And so it is ready. I see I have much to learn about the people of Telius. Together, though, we may yet release them from their, their shackles of conflict. Jasmine, do you have any insight on what must be done? Everywhere I go, everyone I see, I look for values, insights, truth. But so far, I have seen only pieces. Ah, well, I'm sure we'll meet again, Jasmine. I hope so. You're a cool character. Our forefathers left quite the burden upon our shoulders, would you not agree? Tellius yearns for a golden age. An age where the lives of her people will feel me meaningful again. And I feel the weight of those expectations are bearing down on me. I understand now what I started earlier. I know why you feel different than others I have thus far encountered. Here, take this. Ooh. Sword Regalia, okay. I've been waiting for someone to uh, whom to give this. When this was first given to me, I was told that simply by having it, 
It would help me understand the world and tell me how to best help the people in it. But I think I've learned all I can from it, so please hold on to it, would you? Maybe it will help you find it not what you want, but instead what we all need. Well then, goodbyes are always a bit awkward, aren't they? So I'll just see myself out. So until next we meet, Jasmine, good luck. Thank you. And so continues the endless pursuit of meaning. So we got the Sword of Regalia. Nice, mysterious sword is significant, okay. Uh, let's talk to some people in case we get some free stuff. Is that a... How do we get in there? I guess we can't. Yo, looks like things are finally coming down around here. Maybe I'll take a trip to Calvera. I heard they party 24-7 down there. Oof, that sounds horrible. <laughs> but you have, to, you have to be careful as sometimes they close off the town. I mean, you might not have a convenient way of healing your Pokemon. If you're taking a trip down, best make sure you don't mind getting delayed. Man, I've been holed up in here for what feels like a month. One second, I'm reading the latest issue of Ninja's Jump. And uh, next thing I know, the plane is going down. Thought it was over for me, dude, but then the freaking champion shows up and um, whoops me out in the blink of an eye. I should write a freaking memoir, man. You should. Yo, what's up? That boy with silver hair. He bought food and clothing for the poor souls who have been stuck here since the plane crash. Oh, that's nice. The train started running shortly after too. The second he showed up, everything just felt like it was so much better. He must be some kind of saint. He's alright. Jasmine, the train station is finally open again. I still haven't heard from my dad, but at least we can start heading back down to Starlight City now. If we can't find your brother along the way, I'm sure my dad and the council will be able to help. From here, we'll have to transfer, transfer lines at the station in Calvera. We might have to wait there for a bit. So make sure you're stocked up on items, supplies, and Pokemon. After all the craziness we saw here, who knows what else might be we might see along the way to Starlight. So it's better to be safe than sorry, I'd say. Uh, I think you're right. So let me um go and buy a few things from the Pokemon. Uh, over here. Just a few things, just in case. So let's get like five repels. We've got potions. Let's get two awakenings. Four antidotes. Some burn heals. Paralyze heals. We've got ice heals. Okay, we should be fine. Actually, um, let me get a few more balls. Just in case we find a really cool Pokemon we want to capture. But now I've got like barely any money. I should also probably put on uh, this. So I put on Pidgeotto for now. Start getting them EVs, boy! And I should probably heal up as well. That's that's also a very good idea. <laughs> Wait. Okay, I thought that kid was like doing something different. Right. Yes, thank you very much. Now we're fully healed. Let's go take the train. To Calvera, wasn't it? To Ooh, I'm lucky I saved a bit of money. Alright, thank you very much. Enjoy your stay in Calvera. Thank you for riding with us today. Please have a safe trip. I'll try. Well, I'm glad we're finally able to stretch our legs. One step closer to Starlight City. Once we get there, we can go to the council in person and get some answers about what happened. But, looks like a pretty long layover until the next train to Starlight. So I guess we might as well take in the sights. This is the Crimson Forest. You've never been, right? I was uh, here once when I was younger. It's uh, where I got my swap loo, actually. Funny story about that. But maybe I'll save that for later. <laughs> I can see you're itching to explore a bit, so go for it. I'm probably a little underleveled, so I don't want to hold you back. Well, hold you up. Plus, I kind of blew all my money on healing items so we could make it through that craziness at Polaris Mountain. So yeah, I'll meet back up with you in Calvera, Calvera Cove. It's just for the forest a bit to the east. If I remember right, it's a pretty straight shot through the forest and over a bridge. But yeah, I'll meet you in the tavern there. Just make sure not to get too sidetracked. Don't want to miss our train. Uh, I'll try my best, but can't, um... Can't guarantee it. Doesn't look like a good idea. Ooh. They even put one of them on their council, you know? The council. You know about them, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't by now, right? But seriously, how is old Tobias worse than the combination of a crazy old yokai witch doctor and an old noble? And some random science girl who looks like she just graduated from academy. Seems crazy for thinking he can run shop with such a random group of people. I've heard there's a 
rare pink bird Pokemon that lives around Calvera Lake. Oddly enough, it's not actually flying type. The records I've looked at indicate it used to be more like a conventional waterfowl, preying on things like Clauncher. But due to its high intelligence, mean-spirited nature, and tendency to form groups of other others, both of its own kind as well as others, like minor species, it slowly adapted to the uh, <clears throat> bug life. <laughs> and now it's well, more edgy. Don't really know what I'm saying anymore. Okay, so there's a fake mom by the lake. We will try and get that 100%. Yeah, let's uh, battle her. She incorporates a lot of the whole magic aesthetic she has into her style. Sorts of parlor tricks and item manipulation. But next time I'll have more ways to deal with her berries and the screen she hides behind. And that uh, damned rolling kick moves works like a fighting type acrobatics now. So much freaking damage. And I'm burdened, double in the speed too. Ugh. <laughs> Look, just come back when you're ready to challenge her and I'll battle you then. Remember, we ace trainers will spar with you as many times as you want, so look for one of us anytime you need to grind up some levels. Sounds good. Alrighty, uh. Ooh, house here. Okay, it's protected by a passcode. Also, the military might be occupying this, better steer clear. Frag item. Hey, found a Pokeball. Let's go. Anything on this? Hey, Super Potion, we take it. Oh wait, oh please don't say I forgot to... No, we're good, we're good. I switched some settings around on uh, recording software to record console stuff and I thought I muted the audio for this. That would have been bad. <laughs> Do you want to battle? I'm a songwriter, but I'm going to be a famous singer too. Gavira is going to be my springboard to the big stage. Step aside, uh, Irelia Sila, because Sammy Bagwell is the next big thing. Let me use the awesome power of my Perish Song to make it to the top. Oh, Centelius Perish Song is a single target. Oh, no. okay, it doesn't affect its user. So I'm safe. Only issue is also a lot less effective the stronger the target is. Like every two levels your opponent has on you, it makes the song take another turn to faint them. Oh, okay. So Perish Song isn't as broken as I thought. Hmm. So it's going to be a long climb to the top for your boy, Sammy. All right. So it'll be very... Oh, there you are. We're very careful. My dad said don't be a low life and go to Calvera, but whatever. I want to check out some of their awesome moves and shows here. Stuff stuff like Psych Up, Rage, Mental Block, Disable, heck even Spite. People in Starlight just cast moves like those aside, but Calvera takes the crap nobody else wants and makes awesome stuff out of it. Mental Block and Disable deal damage now. Psych Up can heal, and moves like Rage and Spite are just playing better than ever. Just had to go see this crap for myself. Sounds good. Uh, right. So I haven't got cut, so I can't go that way. So let's go this way. You hear a strange voice inside your head. Crimson falling from the trees. Is it blood or is it leaves? You feel dizzy. Oh. Whoa, what the? Doesn't feel right. Am I dreaming? What's going on? Ooh. Yeah, what is going on? Finish him off. Oh, okay. Drive these traders back. Hello? Why aren't they responding? Run while you still can, scum. She doesn't uh, react to anything you do. I guess we just keep going. Ooh. Oh no, someone took down the lamppost. That's not good. Uh, oh, talk, do talk. Oh, okay, this is squad leader. This is Echo 4. No sound of hostiles in Quadrant B. Loss of the Crimson Station resistance will be down in minutes. I'll start scouting the southern forest for any survivors. Don't see no issue at all. Got this person here. God, my leg! Oh my god, my leg! Oh god, please, God, if you exist, please, I'm sorry for all the stuff I've done. Please don't let me die here, God. Oh. His name is Arceus, my dude. Uh, another battle going on. Uh, what is actually going on around here, though? Oh. So, the general. We've suffered too many casualties, and we can reach the tree line, they'll have a harder time tracking us. Make for the hideout and wait for all the for the all clear. But sir, what about the injured? If you slow yourself down to carry someone, you'll both die. The choice is yours. Oh, that ain't good. The Royale Knight. You couldn't have gone far. Find them. They'll pay for their transgressions. Sir, sorry, uh, Madam Aquera, uh, uh, General Jeffrey. There appears to be a wounded revolutionary just ahead. Take him to our camp in Calvera. 
If I hear of any of you uh, dishonouring the rules of war, I'll send your head to his majesty. Thank you, milady. I'll never forget your kindness. Oh. Wait, oh, dude. Is that a mega hound him as well? Just, just burn him, fire blast the dude. Good boy. You are no true knight. You will not lecture me. That man, he swore the oath of uh, fealty to our king. He broke that oath. Now listen up, all of you. Flush them out. Leave no survivors. Tonight, Jeffrey joins the hunt. This Jeffrey guy's kinda scary. But isn't this subsides? But what was that? When was that? Looks like things are back to normal now. Ooh, okay. Ooh, uh, sir, what do you mean you can't heal my Pokemon? Your village has always stockpiled medicines and raw materials, has it not? Exactly as I said, ma'am. Our supplies were dangerously low after the war. We haven't been able to restock them because of some certain individuals from Calvera. Council soldiers uh, haven't taken care of that yet. Haven't any? Haven't made any arrests. We've been here long before Calvera was a blip on the map. Now those hooligan mobsters have bullied us out of the caves we've tended to for generations. They're abusing the mushrooms there for uh, recreation, but we rely on the cave for our very survival. Our old king understood our traditions. His royal has always protected our rights to these lands. Never had a problem like this before, and now we're uncertain that we can do. My daughter and elder Nathan's son have ventured out to try and take the matter into their own hands, but were unsuccessful, and Nathan's son was hurt. So, we've closed off the village, and we simply don't have the resources to tend to anyone but our own right now. Disgusting. The council's uh, legalism on full display. Sorry that this happened to your family, elder. You there. Are you hearing this? If either of you could find someone willing to help, we'd be happy to offer you the healing and therapeutic services our village has always supplied to outsiders and weary travellers. Do not fear, my Pokemon may be injured, but I will see this through. Your village has been a great service to Tellius, more than you know. And I know these lands and your traditions, so upon my honour, I will defend them. I hope you... Wait, is that... Hmm? I hope you will make the right decision as well. If you wish, you may join me. we are waiting in the northern part of this forest. Do not, do not hurry. Calvera is closed again and busy making preparations for its next festival. So unless we help this village, there is nowhere to heal your injured Pokemon. May Arceus bless you both. Every other tra tra uh, traveller has ignored my plea. Heading straight for that wretched party town. We sh uh, shall wait your return. If you want to help, meet me at the northern part of the forest. We can talk more there. Unless you know another place to heal your Pokemon. Right, I'll see you shortly. Sounds good. Uh, oh. Need the natural resources from the northern part of the forest. If you help us, we're glad to open the village. Okay, so it's not open. We can't explore it yet. Right. Uh, hi. Feel like I'm twitching? Am I twitching? I think I'm twitching. Uh, we, should, we should be alright here. Oh, I love the background. Timber! Oh, how's that song go? I'm calling Timber. You better dance. I can't remember how it goes. It's a good song though. This best queen just. Oh, stop protecting! Come on. Look how buff it is from the defense. I need to get the crit. I need to go for a um, lock on. Right, now we go for air cutter. Beautiful, there we go. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I do want to go north. There's quite a few trainers. I got Ladybug. So I'm guessing right takes us to Calvera. Which I'm guessing we can't go across because the bridge. But can I go down here and maybe find that fakey mom? Don't think so. Alright, uh, I want to fight that dude in a second. Yo! My family won't, won't let me go to the cave, but I want to help. To make things easier, let's just go straight for a lock on. 
and then I think I think a critical hit could probably one shot you. Yeah. Seems like with the timber fly moves get boosted, which is super nice and spellbind. Shows to me that also deals a third max HP damage the next time an opponent uses a switching move. Oh, okay. I don't know what to get rid of. We've got it on um, Snow Run. Nice. I'm hoping when we team up with her as well, she'll keep healing us up and then we can just get some easy training going. So, Better Tellius, a brighter tomorrow. Quite the motto. Evidently, that Better Tellius doesn't include anyone that still supports the monarchy. Crimson Village suffers because of their scorn and apathy. Wonder how many other people off in the corners of this region suffer similar fates. You came. Good. I can see you're a trainer. What's your name? Jasmine? You're just passing through on your way to Starlight City? Alright. Um... Ethel? I think that's Ethel, right? I'm a businesswoman, but it's been a few months since I've been uh, sent up here. My boss was concerned with the recent lack of productivity coming from Calvera. So instead of our usual representative, they sit at the big guns. Me. <laughs> In case you haven't heard, Calvera keeps closing its borders for extended periods of time, claiming they're prepping or clean up after their constant festivals. It's finally starting to raise some concerns, and even the council finally sent up, sent up troops to investigate. My company also has occasional trades with the Crimson Village, so I'd prefer if they didn't uh, quarantine themselves. Hmm? What company? Heh. Prefer not to say, just know we aren't on the best of terms with the council right now. Okay, that's uh, not good, is it? Enough idle chat. It's paramount that we get these mushrooms as soon as possible. Yes, I said mushrooms. Know what we're looking for? Don't mind that, just follow my lead. There are two main caves in the Crimson Forest. One is just a small passage under the lake. We're looking for the larger one, in the northwest of the forest. We're waiting outside. I'll see you shortly, Jasmine. Damn, I was trying I was hoping to um be teamed as we just get healed up, but it makes sense obviously because she needs healing herself, but this is probably a great place to end this episode off. Next episode, we explore the Crimson Forest and we try to find this cave. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.